Howdy Longhorns, it's Addie. And it's Ashley, and welcome back to the 21st edition of the Longhorn Student News from George Ranch High School in Richmond, Texas. On the program this week, we'll open with 90 Seconds with Nivens. The guys have another exciting episode of the studio, and Ellie and Julian have the Longhorn Sports Report. So sit back and enjoy the latest edition of the Longhorn Student News from George Ranch High School in Richmond, Texas. Let's, Let's go! go. Hey everybody. Okay, so I have Niven's definitions. This may not be the definitions in Webster, but that's okay. These are Niven's definitions, all right? So go with me. Value and success. Let me define those two. So for me, you know, I've always wanted to become a superintendent. I almost say always, but later on in my career, I want to become a superintendent, right? And for me, success, that's personal. Value is, what do we do to bring value to the organization and everybody else? So success is personal, value is about other people. So to you, how do you define success? How do you define value? Success is, you know, you're doing the best you can and you've been successful, right? You have your job, you have some money in the bank, whatever it is, you have a good family, whatever that is. Value is, what are you doing to bring value to the organization, bring value to your community, bring value to your family, so everyone else around you can experience that value and they can experience their own success. Your value and you bringing value will lead others to being successful and reaching their goals and their dreams and aspirations. Listen everybody, in the Marcy ISD, we all want you to be valuable. We all wanna bring value to the table because if you are valuable and you're bringing value to the table, guess who's benefiting from your value? You're gonna help your young people, the students you serve, the students you drive, the students you support, whatever it is, the people you support, you're gonna help them reach their own personal successes. Remember I said we do life together. We do life together, we're not just coworkers. We're teammates, we're partners, we're family. We do life together. So whatever we can do, let's make sure we add value to the organization, we add value to other people, so they can experience the success in life that they want, all right? And then they'll just continue to pay it forward and we will have a positive impact on this world. Let's do that in the Marcy ISD. Let's always believe the best, always be the one. Today was our annual uh, studio exam to test our skills and like there was like a promotion on the line or something so like I really didn't take it that personally because I enjoy what money I make but I know some people would like that raise. I studied 12 hours a day for the past year for this. I need this raise. What are you doing Julian? What? Eyes on your own paper, please. Sorry, sir. The raise is at stake here. Make sure you guys are reading the questions very, very carefully, okay? <coughs> Ellie. All right, guys, time's up. Stop writing, please. Alright guys, 
I graded the papers, and I'm very proud of some of you guys. Okay, a lot of work we can still be done though. Drill in. Maybe whenever you pass, you can use your phone. Brett, great job, Brett. All right, give me some. Nice. Um, you know, so congratulations to Brett, everybody. Start clapping for Brett, you know. He, uh, he got the highest grade, which means he gets the raise. He gets the raise. He just won the raise. Guys, it's Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> what? What? Look, what's up, what's up? Brett got this answer wrong, but I put the same thing. Oh, you see, I counted it wrong because I felt like Brett just had much more work than you did. Um, is it because I'm a girl? Uh, no. Look, you see, look, I actually look. don't even see gender. There's no work. There's nothing. Well, I mean, I just, his answer was just obviously, like, you know, better. There's but. nothing. Okay, I feel like Kevin hates me. Like, why does he hate me? Like, why is Brett getting all the better grades when I'm obviously the smartest in the class? Like, Kevin literally is so biased towards Brett, and, like, I don't understand. Like, why am I not... Look this picture of this little kid. Am I interrupting something? No. Oh. Were you, were you talking about me? No. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Look at this, Julian. <laughs> Did you really just zoom in? Yeah, I didn't even study. There was one goldfish. One. Like, how, how did you get three? There's only one. Like, this is the only one. This is Eevee. It's not Pikachu. You ever played Pokemon? Like, come on. You were there for the joke, Derek. Yeah, I knew the tests were rigged, but I just kind of like Brett. Good luck like on the benchmarks, everybody. Mic check, mic check, is the mic on? Mic on? Point, <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like Kevin hates me. He always gives Brett the better grade. When everyone else in the class is like, I'm so much smarter. Like, Kevin literally... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this funny TikTok. Oh, oh, what's up? Snowdrop United, Fried Rice Edition. Snowdrop United is a student led, non profit organization that is dedicated to providing meals and supplies to the homeless in the 713 Houston area. This past Hope event was one of our largest yet since it took us almost 12 hours to prep and cook over 170 meals of fried rice. This could not have been achieved without the help of our generous donors because we are just some broke high schoolers trying to make a positive change. As times get tough, we have to remember to persevere and stay strong throughout all challenges. If you want to find out how to support, please feel free to check out our bio. Help us help out. Hey guys, it's Kevin Fan, and I need your help. I'm trying to get a five on the AP research exam and I need your feedback. So please take the survey that's on the screen right now. It'll be right here. So just take the survey, please. Honest feedback. Don't troll, please. Is, my grade is on the line. So thank you. Welcome back in everyone. This week marks the last of our winter sports report as we transition into the spring season. That means two new sports to cover, as well as some big news as we have some postseason success here at the ranch. Let's dive right in, shall we? Coach Henry's basketball squad got a big one over Fort, Bend, over Fort Bend Dulles, winning 60 to 45 this past Tuesday. This one keeps the Horns in playoff contention as they'll need to win out and have some help with, with some other schools losing out. The boys have their hardest stretch of the season as they play away to Elkins and Clements next Tuesday and Friday. Longhorn basketball took two more tough losses at the hands of Hightower and Dulles. The ladies finished off their season next Tuesday when they host Fort Bend Elkins. Coach Jackson's soccer club took another tough loss at the hands of Fort Bend Bush, falling three to one. They hosted Hightower this past Wednesday and lost in heartbreaking fashion, losing 3-2. The Horns play away to Fort Bend Dulles tomorrow at 12 p.m. Lady Longhorn soccer got a huge 7-0 win over Fort Bend Bush this past Monday. Seven different ladies scored, highlighting the absolute thrashing of the Broncos. They play host to Fort Bend Dulles tomorrow at 12 p.m. Longhorn wrestling capped off the regular season with a tri-meet versus Episcopal and Klein Forest this past week. This event was highlighted by Carlos's seven-second pin. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Go. 
The Horns wrestle in the 9 6 a tournament this weekend at the Merrill Center in Katy. Longhorn Swim capped off its district season with Gabby Rackstick finishing as the best swimmer in the district. Overall, the t whole team qualified for the regional round of the 6A UIL playoffs. Good luck, everyone. It's finally springtime at the ranch. Both Lady Longhorn softball and baseball are kicking things off this week. The ladies led by Coach Witt got things kicked off with a scrimmage against Lamar this past Monday, and the boys led by 14th year head coach Coach Cubza kick off their season tomorrow with a scrimmage against Lamar. Once the season starts rolling, you can catch myself along with my partner Jason Ford and Mr. T on GRHS iRadio for all district games and some tournament games. This upcoming 2024 to 2025 athletic season will come with a couple of changes. George Ranch will have some new opponents next year as District 26A sees some drastic changes. The Longhorns will face off with six new schools, including two LCISD rivals in Foster High School and Fulcher High School. The UIL reclassifications for the 2024 through 2026 seasons have been made official. For more information, you can visit the UIL website. That wraps it up for this week. <laughs> you okay. can catch me and Julian next week for more on the Longhorn Sports Report. So, so long, long, everyone. everyone. That's it for us this week, Longhorns. So for Angelo, Brett, Corinne, Derek, Allie, Julian, Kevin, and Miley, I'm Addie. And I'm Ashley. And this has been the 21st edition of the Longhorn Student News from George Ranch High School in Richmond, Texas. Have, Have a, a fun, fun and safe weekend, weekend Longhorns. Longhorns. So, so long, long, everybody. everybody. Yay, that Yay. was a good one. That was really good. Yeah.